Hi fans of High Quality Entertainment. It's been a few days since I did a video. I've been in a bit of a YouTube funk for uh, various reasons. Not with life, just with YouTube. And I might do a future video soon about it. I'm, I'm thinking about uh, the top 10 lists I've made. I've been thinking something very important about the Beatles. And so stay tuned. And I might even do a live chat at some point in the near future, but I would let you know ahead of time. Anyway, once again, it's time for you to hopefully become a fan of a band I've loved for years. You might have heard of them, but if you have and you're not a big fan, you might be just familiar with their radio hits like We're an American Band, uh, The Locomotion, Some Kind of Wonderful, you know, when they, they got more pop-oriented and commercial. And that's when I sort of uh, stopped buying their albums. Anyway, it is Grand Funk Railroad. And I've made up a Spotify playlist, so the link should be below, with uh, six of my favorite early Grand Funk songs. So I hope you check it out. If you love hard rock, I believe you will like or maybe even love Grand Funk Railroad. One of my favorite things about the, the early years of Grand Funk Railroad was Mel Shocker, I hope that's how you pronounce it, Mel Shocker's bass, right up front, loud and in your face. Uh, Mark Farner, he's been criticized for his guitar playing, but I've loved it, I've always loved his guitar sound and his guitar playing. And uh, I forgot his name for a second. Don Brewer on drums is a great drummer. And besides that, oh my God, that guy could sing. I, it's, it's taken years for me to truly appreciate his vocals. So here we go. The, the songs I've cho chosen before I, I show you the, the albums I have of theirs are number one, Got This Thing on the Move. Uh, I don't think there's any other early Grand Funk song that just shows the style and the sound of Grand Funk than that song. It's from their second album, the, the intro track. Number two, Inside Looking Out. Uh, it was originally done by Eric Burden. Might, might have even been done before that, I don't know, with the animals. But their version. 11 minutes of pure, awesome rock. Number three, their first radio hit, and not as commercial or pop-oriented as later songs. I'm Your Captain, Close to Home, just a beautiful song. And speaking of beautiful, uh, it just recently got to me, this song, how amazing it is, sung by Don Brewer. I can feel him in the morning. It's, you know, a spiritual song, but it's just gorgeous. And there's this little intro clip with these children talking that uh, is just really interesting to listen to. Number five, their cover version of the Rolling Stones Give Me Shelter. I actually like it more than the Stones version. Uh, this has the it uh, the bass playing, it almost sounds like uh, Lemmy from Motorhead. Uh, just the power in the bass playing alone. But the, the drumming, everything about it, I absolutely love. So I hope you check that out. And the final song, I had to include it, because usually it's five songs, is Into the Sun from possibly my favorite live album of all time, Grand Funk Railroad live album, Into the Sun, 12 minutes of pure rock. So, their debut album, Grand Funk on Time. I didn't include any songs from it, although Into the Sun, the studio version, is on this. And this came out in, I believe it was 1969. Their second album and the first one I ever heard. 
grand funk. Just look at that cover. You can just tell that that album is going to rock your brains out. Their third album, Closer to Home. Their live album, Grand Funk. And I'm actually going to be doing a uh, contest giveaway very soon, hopefully. And one of the CDs I might be giving away is my original version of Grand Funk's live album on two CDs. The newly remastered one is on one CD. Then, Grand Funk Survival, which I was... I, I always struggled with. I didn't know if I liked it or hated it. Uh, but now I truly do appreciate it. And uh, it's a bit more mellow than their earlier albums. But it contains Gimme Shelter and I can feel him in the morning. So, it's good. And then they went back to a more hard-edged rock again with E Pluribus Funk. I originally had this. It was like a, a coin on vinyl. And then they were going through uh, problems with their recording contract and their manager and all that. And so this one was produced by themselves. And I'm still not too crazy about it. It's called Phoenix. And then they came back. They went more commercial, but I, I love this album. We're an American band. It still sounds great today. And their follow-up, which was even more commercial, it contained the locomotion. And uh, even back when I was a teenager, it had... Uh, these 3D glasses you could take out and see the 3D cover and even back then I thought it was kind of kind of stupid and the album is is I do actually love the locomotion and the guitar solo by Mark Farner but overall it was a disappointing album and that's when I stopped buying Grand Funk albums but I did buy this Caught in the Act uh, a later live album and it's excellent uh, they, they still do some of the older songs like I'm Your Captain and Heartbreaker, TNUC, Gimme Shelter. i got to listen to this again. I haven't listened to it in a while. It has Gimme Shelter on it. I didn't know that. So that's it. I would love your thoughts on Grand Funk Railroad below and please, if you haven't heard them, give them a listen on Spotify and then come back and leave a comment and say, I've become a fan of Grand Funk Railroad, thanks to Larry Graves, a.k.a. Canadian Stud Muffin. Thanks for watching. Bye.